Hello there. Have you ever experienced the easiest way to enable single sign-on for your application? In this video, I will help you to set up your application using SAML protocol. First, we will need an account with Mini Orange to access the admin dashboard. To create an account, follow the link displayed on the screen or you can also click on the link mentioned in the description of this video. To set up your account, just visit login.securify.com and log in using the credentials provided in the email. Amazing! You are logged into the admin dashboard. Let's try and add an application. Click on the app section from left navigation bar. To add an application, click on the add application button. Now, find the SAML or WS Fed section and then click on create an app button. Mini Orange helps you to enable SSO into 5000 plus pre-integrated applications for cloud, on-premise, mobile and desktop applications. Here you can search for your application from the list. If your application is not found, search for custom and you can set up your app via custom SAML app. In this video, we will try and set up AWS application using SAML protocol. So let's search for an AWS application in the search bar. Now click on your AWS app. Fill in all the basic information. You will get the SP Entity ID or issuer from the metadata. Click on Import Metadata button. Enter your app name. You can import SP Metadata via URL, text, and file. Here, I am using the File option for importing metadata. Now, go to Attribute Mapping section. These are user profile attributes that will be sent in the SAML response assertion. Go to the Login Policy section. You can prefer the group you wish to enable the policy for. Also you can choose a login method from these options. You can also enable two-factor authentication or adaptive authentication. Go to Advanced Settings section. Against Relay State, select Custom Attribute Value and enter Relay State URL. Now enable Override Relay State. Click on Save button. Your app is configured successfully. Great work! Let's take a quick look at what metadata we're going to need. Against your app click on Select option and then click on Metadata option. Click on the Show Metadata Details button below, to see the configuration details required to configure your app. Click on Metadata link to download the metadata which will be required later. Now, keep SAML login URL, SAML logout URL and click on the Download Certificate button and also, Download Metadata button which you will require to log in to our app using Mini Orange. If your identities are stored elsewhere in an external identity provider for example Okta, Azure AD, OneLogin, Google Apps etc. then use the following configuration to configure your service provider where Mini Orange will act as a broker. And lastly, if you want to show users a page to select the IDP of their choice then copy the SAML login URL. Amazing work guys! Now you know how to add a SAML application using Mini Orange dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at securify.com for any other questions.